want you to address national security. I know that in this bill that's been passed, that's a question. And also, a mandatory spending versus... Yep, let me go back to that. Okay. Discretionary, how that will affect Because if our country is not safe, the all land. the rest of it doesn't matter. I agree with you on that. Health and safety is the top thing. Anyway, just imagine. Uh, in any event, uh, I'll let Carl. Oh, there we go. I'll let Carl work on that. But in any event, yes. Uh, I, let me let me back up. I have said everything's on the table, and um, yes, there are people that are unwilling to uh, to hold the Pentagon accountable. Okay, I believe we do have to hold them accountable, and I have uh, offered amendments in the Armed Services Committee to uh, push them toward uh, auditable financial statements. Okay, right now the Pentagon cannot provide you or me or anybody else an auditable financial statement. They cannot do it. It is physically impossible. So we are working toward that. Uh, you know that. I, I'm sure that I oppose the alternate engine on the F-35, which is a $3 billion deal. Some people disagree with me on that. That's fine. I just got back from Afghanistan. I had a meeting with Petraeus while I was there. Uh, I'm in the Army. I've been in for 15 years. I totally get that. I would never do anything that would put troops at risk. But I also can't look you in the eye and say, we've got all the waste out of the Pentagon, because it's not true. There's a lot of waste in the Pentagon. And uh, I believe that we will come to an agreement in this committee you're talking about, and the automatic cuts will not go into effect. I believe that. Um, but if they do, um, I think that uh, they'll be pretty stiff. Uh, but we, at some point, are going to have to deal with, with the, the defense spending. I will say this, and I've got the slides to show it. 